Um, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's a, a celebration of sport this weekend, undoubtedly, because we've got so many amazing finals. And I say amazing in every sense of the word when we look at those finalists. Ash is back to chat. Uh, ICC, Cricket World Cup yeah. 2019. Obviously, the Proteas ending on a high, yes. giving us an amazing performance. It was almost worse than seeing them <laughs> fail because you kind of see what they can do on their potential. When you belittle and almost destroy and probably break yeah. the spirit of Australia, let's be honest, yeah. um, a couple of injuries coming into that space as well. Um, so uh, have you been able to come to terms with the Proteas uh, Cricket World Cup campaign? Well, probably but probably not yet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> seeing Fav there at the buddy. airport as well and, and the coach speaking there and you just think what could have been, you know, especially oh. after the victory over Australia, how they managed to play to the potential uh, for the change, you know, and they showed what they are capable of. And that probably affected Australia's confidence going uh, into the semi-final, you know. Uh, they were just down and out, totally flat, outplayed by England. But yeah, the Proteas, they all have to start over again. Yeah, but the, the, all the tools are there. And, and Faf, we yeah. still love you, brother. We yeah. love you, man. <laughs> I'm such a fanboy, dude. <sighs> New Zealand, India, broken up into, it became a two-day yes. test yeah. of metal, of individuals. It, it highlights for me the fact that this World Cup has had a narrative for mm. the bowlers. After we thought that the Roy Sharmas, the, the yeah. Warners p p of the <laughs> world, would control proceedings, yes, this yes. has been about the bowlers and what they can do about, most importantly, about what the New Zealand bowlers and fielders yeah. and, and batsmen, yeah. um, Williams, Captain Williamson, exactly. can do. You, you see, go, uh, going what into happened, the tournament, buddy? we were talking about 400 being scored, you know, in the 50 overs yeah. now. Look how exciting is a 220, 230 target, you know. Just, I love this kind of cricket, this old school 50 over cricket where the bowlers are in with a chance, you know. Body not line. Just, yeah, you know, you knocking can... Knocking helmets off Exactly, heads. Jofra Archer yesterday to Kerry. I mean, that is an amazing delivery. Who knocks a helmet off, you know? So, so yeah, in terms of the bowling with New Zealand, uh, uh, India, Trent Bolt, that in-swinger to, to Virat Kohli, what a ball, you know. Pitching almost on off stump and sliding back. That's the kind of thing you want to see. And I suppose when you look at both of the big guns that we expected to be progressing, yeah. both India and Australia, they play with a mindset. Yeah. They play with a culture of winning. And if you can upset that, yeah. that's a big thing. So now, um, you know, when you look at England, Australia, I don't think we, we, we expected Australia to capitulate. Yes, you yes. seldom get to use that term when, when yeah. mentioning Australia. But their but batting has been brittle, you know. Yeah. If Warner and Finch don't get off to the best of starts, that middle order, especially once Usman Khawaja was ruled out with injury, you know, out of the semi-final. Thank you, Proteus. Suddenly there he was like no one else who was going to score the runs if Warner got out early, and, and he did. And Finch got a first baller. Suddenly, you know, almost like, came you think over. Think of like a couple of their gambles, Stoinis being the all rounder, yes. not being able to achieve yeah. with the bat. Yeah. And so they, they haven't also really. Hot and cold, yeah. Haven't stepped up all the big hitters, but yeah. the big hitters who have stepped up in that English outfit, you've got to give them the favourites tag now yeah. against New Zealand. Maybe not the better team, but on the day, clearly yes. can produce something miraculous. How is this going to go? How do you think? Who's going to win it? Is it the best show? Um, are, are we going to see a continuation of these star batting performances from, from England? Let me tell you this. I think England are the favourites. I would want New Zealand to win. But England's batting combined with the bowling. Yeah. You know, it's not just a song in one. Kind of woken. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, woken up there. And, you know, with Archer with his pace, Mark Wood with his pace, Adil Rashid coming through yesterday with his leg spin, you know, suddenly they just look such an effective unit to the ball as well. And their batting is strong, you know, Besto, Jason Roy, Owen Morgan, all these guys. I mean, you know, Morgan was, was six years old when England were lost yeah, in a final. Yeah. Neither of these teams has won a final. Yeah. You know, New Zealand have won more World Cup games than yes. any other team yeah. and haven't. So they probably are the perennial chokers here. Yeah. Um, in your heart of hearts, who do you think is going to take this one? Look, uh, the fans are going to be there for England and but New Zealand, they're such an effective team, man. You know, they save those extra singles or the boundaries. They, they bowl the when they, we, we they yeah. have to bowl, but they may not have enough runs. I think New Zealand might battle with the bat. Ah, oh, dude, I love you, man. Okay. So good to have you back yeah. in the hot seat. Yeah. Notably, our netball ladies um, are doing us proud at the World Cup. Um, but you can share your sporting thoughts with us on our social media platforms. Um, and, of course, um, that final fixture in the Rugby World Cup, uh, in the Cricket World Cup, um, is going to be playing out on Sunday. You can let us know who you think has the edge. Is it England? Is it New Zealand? One way or another, there will be a first-time winner of the Cricket World Cup. Wow.